Hi children, I am K. M. Lata from GK Jane School Science Teacher. Today I am going to take class for 5th standard. Second lesson, Matter and Materials. Before going to the lesson, I am going to say few things to the 5th standard students. Who have finished the, this 5th standard, now they are going to 6th standard. So 6th standard we are going to join a new school. You all know which school you have to join now? Yes, GK Jane School, IS Secondary School, having the 6th standard to plus 2. Your children, you are familiar in the school, having the so many sections in the 6th standard, whatever you learn it in the 5th standard, how in the classrooms like that, 3 sections, the same things are going to be in the higher secondary also. The well teachers of the, having the computer lab, science, chemistry lab, physics lab, biology lab and one important things in the assembly, your students are playing the instruments, no? Band class, that is free for 6th standard to plus two students. You can join in that class also. And the sports events, interest competition, so many competitions also given for the 6th standard to plus two students. We are having so many opportunities in our school. So don't miss this opportunity. In the 6th standard, you ought to come in the GK Gaming School. Students, okay? Thank you. Now I am going to take a class. Matter and Materials. Matter and materials is a nothing but a matter, whatever things, chalk paste, board, book, bag, notebooks, so many things, plants, animals, all are matter. The matter, anything, occupied space is called matter. The matter, the three states of matter. States of matter is divided into three states. One is a solid, liquid and gas. In this topic, you are going to learn about what you mean by the solid, liquid and gases. Now I am going to teach about solid, what's the properties and how it is formed. Okay. I am showing one object. This is a, you are attack anything, so all plain metals. It is a solid. I am going to say, this is soil. How we can able to say the soil? Soil means the molecules. Inside the molecules, everything is closely packed. The closely packed atoms are called solid, the chalk paste. The chalk paste, the molecules are very closely packed. So, the, so many examples are there. We all know, no? I already say, no? Different box, lunch bag, school things. The tall colors are solid. In the solid, everything, the molecules are closely packed. They are having the shape. So, it is having the shape and volume. It is here. If I throw it from... Year to year coming there. You never spread anywhere at all. From year to year is coming. So it is called as a ring. If I plus, is anything is happening? No, it is a incompressible. So you cannot be able to change the shape. You cannot be able to uh, broken very easy. This is solid. Liquid. Liquid already known. What is the liquid? Give some example for liquid. Yes. Milk, water, kerosene, petrol. And so many codes. These are which one things very thing in liquid is called liquid. Liquid can flow from easy spread anywhere. So liquid is having that volume, fixed volume, but does not have a shape. Whatever you container you are throwing, it takes the value of that content. Suppose a liquid, I will show it in the demonstration and then explain to you about how it can change the shape. Now we pass on to gas. Gas molecules are very loosely packed. So gas molecules are very loosely packed. It does not have any shape and the volume. Okay. The gas, so many gas, the balloons are will filled and the things atmosphere and the parachutes, so many gases are filled. This is an example for that gas. In this video, I am going to show demonstration about properties of the three states of matter. Thank you. Hi children, three states of matter I told no solid liquid gas. From that state, I am going to show the four properties. Properties, shape and volume. This is the first property. The second one is a combustibility. The third one is rich or fuel. The fourth one is fill container completely. These four properties, re remember means you can write the properties for the solid, liquid and gas. First I start from the solid. Now take what is this? is a sharpener. So it is a solid. What's the first property I told you? Shape and volume. Should a sharpener having the shape? No. 
yes is having the shape is having the volume since so are the occupying the space so the solid having shape and volume second point what is this combust ready if it press like a shock anything is happening here combustible is having no so in solid combustible is incombustible nothing will happen in combustible so combustible is incombustibility third one rich of fuel it is a fuel or rich it is flowing from air to say catch it is so nothing will spread anywhere so the solid is a rich fill container completely it fill the container if you taking a container and putting a sharpener inside it it occupy the full space no in a occupying the full space so solid will not fill container completely these are the four properties of the solid the same thing is i take as here you you shape having volume having if i press any compressible is there in there no it is incompressible and is a fuel or fill this fuel is spreading no so it is rich and i throw put it in a container it occupying the full space no so fill container incomplete in our cover incomplete fully cover these are the four properties of the solid next i going to pass on to liquid next i told the properties of the liquid liquid i am taking as a water what's the first property shape how having the water in this container it is a rectangle shape it can occupy the rectangle shape now i throw it in the another bottle it have been occupied the this shape now i throw it in this bottle so the shape will be different to the container so the liquid do not having a shape from the first point what you understand liquid do not having shape volume what amount of water i throw it here the same amount of will throwing there so the volume will be fixed but shape will be different second one compress now it compress so it is a plastic it tightly compress it compressing but water is not compress only the plastic bottle only compress so liquid is a incompressible liquid cannot able to compress it all so compressibility is incompressibility in it way next stage of fuel i am throwing throwing the water is that no if i throw it here then it will be spread it spread in the flow so it is a fuel in liquid it is a fuel next fill container completely it is filled the container completely no the liquid is in filled the container completely it's never fully completed so these are the four properties for the liquid next we pass on to the gas next gas this balloon is actually filled with air this is called as an inside having air is called gas and this container also inside having a air see the first property shape and volume so in the ball is a ball shape so the air is inside it no so the air having any shape no it depends upon that whatever particles is happening objects is have cover occupy the gas is called as the that shape only having so volume the air has any volume no the volume of the ball volume of the sphere is a sphere the volume of the sphere is equal to the volume of the gas you calculate it from that only you can able to calculate the volume of the gas let take a container In the container i told fully filled up air air is nothing but a gas so the gas occupy the shape of the container and the volume is you have to calculate the value of this container is equal to the volume of the gas so the shape also not having for a gas and the volume also not having for a gas now so come to the compressor if it press you have some pressure of no? oh gas is a highly compressibility so gas having the highly compressibility rich of flow if i throwing throw it so no solid it throw means come here but it not having any solid inside having any gas so here it is showing clean the gas is comes out if i throw it means it spread everywhere you can't able to see because air is a colorless so the gas is a colorless 
for a good example I'm going to show a perfume a spray of perfume the room fully it occupied that gas so the gas occupied maximum wherever the space containing it, it will occupy it. so fill container completely so gas is fully filled you can understand these four properties now we compare in the three states solid liquid and gas from solid i will show it in the board the topic about that hi children already i teach you four properties from the property explain what is solid liquid and gas and the property is that we can easily write the difference between the three states of matter solid liquid and gas first point i told about the shape and volume so the solid are the fixed shape and volume in liquid no fixed shape and we are in the fixed volume in gas no fixed shape and the volume so the first property say about the shape and volume so solid having a fixed liquid no fixed gas also no fixed next one point incompressible so in solid it is a incompressible liquid also incompressible but in gas is a highly compressible gas is highly compressible and that's all it it is a real in liquid it is a fuel in gas it's also fuel these are the properties i explain if from that property we can write the difference between the three states of matter you have finished see the difference between the three states of matter now i am going to teach about changes of shape how is change from one shape to another shape having the four points melting evaporation condensation and freezing these four points are take place in the change of shape first i am going to teach about melting melting means solid for state is changed into a liquid state for example you take a ice cubes ice cube is a solid it is in the room temperature otherwise it will heat it comes to the liquid so it solid is changed into liquid that process is called as a melting melting means what like solid state is converted into a liquid state is called as a melting now comes to the second point evaporation evaporation means liquid state liquid state is changed into the gaseous state for example the uh, mummy is cooking no the steam will comes water boils the steam will comes that is the comes to the gaseous state so the liquid when you boil your water for a few second the steam will comes out from the liquid that is can change into a gaseous state the liquid state is changed into gaseous state is called as a evaporation next one third point condensation condensation means the evaporation gas is there no that gas is cooled means you got the liquid suppose your mummy cooking your rice you are closing a you know, one plate with that in boiling water take a boiling water you close with your plate after a few minutes you remove the plate and see small small water drops will be there so it comes into the liquid state so gas state is changed into liquid state is known as a condensations and last one is a pre freezing freezing means what liquid state is changed into the solid state suppose you are want in the summer season you all want ice cubes no so if you pour the water in that plate you keep in the refrigerator what will comes ice cubes will comes that is in what state solid state so liquid state is changed into solid state is called as a freezing you have to remember these things you can able to write the answer for this title melting point define melting different melting means what solid state to liquid state the process of state change from solid state to liquid state is called melting evaporation means liquid state to gas state is called as a evaporation condensation means the process of gas 
state into the liquid state. Freezing means liquid state to solid states. These are the changes of the matter. In this state happens one in the cycle. Water cycle also happens like this in the form only. Okay students. From this you can easily understand what is matter. What are the three types of matter. What is the difference between the three types of matter and the changes of matter. Understand? Thank you children.